All right, what's up, guys? Retro Gamer here, and welcome back to more Earthbound. The last part, we got Mastermise. So this part, uh, God, come on, go left. Uh, all right, and I'm holding right. Okay, now that that makes more sense. Now everything's upside down. So yes, every time, every like, I don't know the interval. I think it's minute, possibly. But oh, Jesus! I'm trying to go in. <laughs> <laughs> These nationalizations, I hate them so much. I hate them so much. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. Healer? Seriously, dyslexia, go away. If you have some illness that I can, that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to kill you. Kill you? It's my job to kill you. Yes, a healer's job is to kill you, everyone. A healer's job is to kill you. Hey now. That I notice could you sell me that the mushroom growing on top of your head come on let's make a deal I've never seen that game show but um healer wants to buy a mushroom paying me $50 for a mushroom seems legit seems very legit nah I don't think I need your help cuz you kind of freak me out and Java go away get off my laptop you stupid idiot you should waste my time you're wasting your time. The world will be mine. You're wasting. Oh, okay. So now we gotta fight the unassuming loco guy. That's totally me right there. Look how he nervously holds his hand. That's me. Friendly, affectionate. <laughs> what? Oh, what? You jerk. I can't believe you solidified my body. That's why I made your body into a pile of blood and bones. And flesh because I'm like that so um let's go exploring Tucson yeah so right here we have the chaos there and it looks like there's a big line Shh, I'm not gonna wait in line Pfft. just go some other place um down here we got a dog the main attraction of the place because everybody knows the dog is the most important there was a kidnapping believe me you know I'm just a dog wolf did he wake up that was a reference to Majora's Mask, a very terrible reference. The whole kidnapping joke, but um. Anyway, explaining jokes don't make funny. <laughs> and that's how you say it, don't make funny. Let's uh, go to uh, this place. See, Orange Kit. Who is this Orange Kit? Greetings, I'm Orange Kit, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development. But I'm running short on cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not really worried. Ugh. You know, I'm working on this machine that will really help you in peaceful rest valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You actually willing to finance the project? Um, no, you heard me wrong. Guess I was just too hopeful. Oh well, never mind. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna give you money because you seem like the guy who tends. When you get money, you tend to get stuff done and. You tend to be true to your word, and, you know, give them what the money's worth. And I'm kind of not looking for that. So, yeah. I think I'm going to go up here to the department store because I'm going to get some things. Because I forgot to go do this. Yeah, stupid. I'm stupid all the time. Let's go withdraw. We're going to take out all the money. All the monies. And you are using any mean and every mean that we can think of. So let's uh, go up here. There's not really much to buy here because we bought pretty much the best stuff we can get till now from one net. So Tucson really sucks, to say the least. But also doing the most. So, uh, yeah. I want... No. Nope. 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 Yeah, see. There's nothing good. And you don't want that slingshot. I repeat, you don't want that slingshot. That's what I wanted. Very. Yeah. Let's see what we can sell. Uh, absolutely nothing. Good. Nope. Alright, so now we got ourselves a nice little teddy bear. And it's going to follow us. And it's going to protect us when we need it. Mmm, just what I needed. 
and it is just what we needed. Hold on, let me check the money right quick. We good. We're good. Very good. And I'm checking my money for no specific reason. But yeah, let's uh, go back down and explore some more Tucson. Because yeah. Oh, and right here is a puddle. It's very important. It's in the backyard of a not so much important place because who cares about that place? This is not important at all. But uh, yeah, we saw the orange. Let's go to the apples because, you know, apples and oranges. Jokes. Uh, let's go dig through this trash can first. There's a broken machine inside. Uh, what are we going to do with that? Let's go talk to this kid. Uh, well, I sort of neglected doing my housework. I can tell, man. Your house is real, you know, bachelor's pad. I know it's a bit of a pigsty. No, that word doesn't come to mind. But anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. <laughs> Very funny. By the way, I'm sorry. You have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? What can you give me? Uh, you can have this cookie. Thanks, you seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you like to invest some money in my inventions? Hmm, you seem like the type that if I give you my money that you would probably run off and, you know, go to Mexico. So, uh, why not? Seems legit. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use what? Ah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll be back. Seems like you are expecting something from me. Maybe you like to invest some money in my inventions. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. okay, it's everything the same. By the way, I could really use $200. Jeez, for $200, I better not see hide nor tail of this money. You better spend it all on an airplane ticket to t uh, Mexico or Las Vegas and gamble it all away and never pay me back. But, um, yeah, let's go talk to this guy. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. The weirdness level of this game is just so amazing. Ness, got it, the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Zip. Yep, you were in my way. But all right. Uh. Anyway, we'll go right in here, and we're gonna talk to this lady. She seems important. Whistle, whistle, whistle. Anywhere it makes me smile. All the while, I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel. It seems. All right, let's go in here. Let's talk to this guy. So you want to see Paula. May you come here to see her miraculous powers, but they are just leeches. So are you from a TV station or what? Um, no, not that I know of. To meet you or not to meet you? That is the question, but um, only Paula can decide that stuff. Dyslexia, go away. Paula said that she would only meet the, with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dreams. Oh, so I'm the boy of her dreams? Yay, finally that happens to me. <laughs> Forever love. You will save the world. Let me go call Paula. And this part is so hilarious. You can just hear him run back quickly. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Did you come back later? So calm about it. And he's shuffling really quick. It's just and this beeping going on upstairs. It's really annoying me. Like, with the beeping stop. I hope it's not picking up in the mic because that would be ridiculous and it's going to give me a headache. But anyway, I shall continue along. So we just grab the teddy bear through there. I think it's really a good time to take a little nap at the hotel because stuff like that but um anyway get out the way kid you're not important to the story in line so you're not important to me neither are you but this teddy bear is nobody is important here nobody at all not you not him nobody except the dog i love you dog i will kiss you no that would be weird 
to kiss a random strange dog and it's not my dog oh butterfly i saw you i saw you do not run away from me do not run away from me just i will make you whole with my body but yeah whoo let's go to this cycling shop right here ah you oh you what are you doing here get out of here get out of my life Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. And I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy peacles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest memories. Pokemon Snap. I don't know why I'm thinking of that right now. I think I might fire up my old 64 and just play that. Look what you did for photograph dude fuzzy pickles dude this cycle shop is called punk shore bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient They're a lot faster than walking it would be really popular with the biking crowd do you want a bicycle yeah unfortunately we don't have any more bikes for sale we only have rentals do you want to rent one i really like your straightforward style i'll tell you what i'll let you borrow a bike for free Ness got the bikes. Um, you know that two people can't ride on a, one bicycle. So, of course, three or four people on a bike would be impossible and ridiculous. And could you imagine that? It's just weird. Did you also know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? Namely, teddy bears, for example. Hmm, why do you say that? Carrying a bear and riding uh, is impossible for you. And don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. See, bikes are useless. They suck. I just got it because I wanted to show where it was. If you ever want a bike, but they suck. Don't get them. They're stupid. They waste space. Unlike the map. Map's cool. But, um, yeah, I think with all of our stuff all gotten, we should call home, probably. Because, you know, that would be nice. No. <laughs> um, no, we don't need it. So, uh, yeah. I'll call mom. He called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh, yes, Tracy started working part time for the escargot expo. And call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Oh, he hello, this is escargot express. Oh, is that you next? Big bro! It's me, Tracy. I'm working part time at the escargot express. What can I do for you? Um, well, you can pick up something for me. We'll send someone over immediately to pick it up. And so let's just leave outside this place. And let's walk out on over to. I think this is the place. Oh, yeah, the hotel. It's just. Um, there he goes. And we got the delivery guy. Hello, this is the S Cargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. You can cover the bill, right? Yeah. What do you want to take? What do you want me to take? Well, you're already taking my arm and leg, so I can take up the three things. Um, you're gonna take this bike. Yeah. You're gonna take. Um, where's that broken? Yeah, there. Um. No, that's all. Let me just confirm your request. You want me to take the bicycle, the broken machine. Is that correct? All right. Sir, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot. Whatever. Just dyslexia. Please go away. But uh, I think we're going to end off this video right here. So if you like my stuff, why not comment, favorite, like, subscribe, to comment, right, right. And, you know, if you want to follow me on my channel on my Twitter, you can do those things. And when we come back next time, we'll be starting the search for Paula. So good night. Sleep tight. And don't let the bed bugs bite. Like they do in the